What do you got? Flour? Oh wow, show me the rest. Nico! Nico Bellic! Nico! How are you, buddy? Let's chalk, chalk, chalk it up. A heart? Mm -hmm. With a flower stem? No. It's a balloon heart. Oh, nice. Taking pictures of Alex, taking pictures of ya. It's picture reception. While we're going shopping, we're taking the Mercedes Benz. The Manslayer Benz. And we're rolling. Look at the size of that sunroof. Look at the size of that munchkin in the back. <laughs> It used to be a uh, jail, and now it's a, uh, a funeral home. TCR and Manslayer here Hello. in the eye of the hose. And what are we doing today? We are straight piping the all road, cat delete. It's not illegal because this is America. Yeah, so we got our catless three inch down pipes. I don't know why you can see it through the. Uh... You'll see it later. Yeah, you'll see it later. Yeah, but we're is. just getting her up in the air and taking a look because basically this is all the room we have to work with. <laughs> and uh, our, on our about 10 hour drive yesterday up through Wyoming and Idaho, which is goddamn gorgeous, um, Audi did great. The only problem is I lost an ex ex exhaust stud, but you know, I just pretty much carry all the spare parts wherever I go. So we have spare studs washers and nuts and i'm just gonna replace that get the exhaust leak done and then on to the all road he's got a bunch apart the whole intake is out and we're getting the heat shields I'm gonna pull these egt sensors but yep start with the heat shields and it's just a nightmare don't ever do this i can't advise anyone to ever own a 2.7 twin turbo but look at it it's so cool I know, it's not really a car you expect to have a twin turbo engine, 30 valve V6. With uh, airbags and all wheel drive and a six speed. Six speed manual, yep. Straight out of a race car from the 80s. But, yeah. We're gonna make it sound like whoosh. Oh yeah, here. There you go. Nice. That's what's replacing the factory yep. cats. And then these are just straight pipes underneath it to hook up to the exhaust. And then there's still going to be mufflers though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the factory mufflers. So it place. won't be all on drugs, but it'll be loud. Err. Err. All right, a while later, we had to go get an O2 socket from the stove. And we got the one side of the exhaust out. And the damn, damn heat shield is still not wanting to come out. Can you crush it? Try it. I ain't got no room for my elbows. I gotta move. In the words of Jason Lee, bitch in a bus saw. <laughs> <laughs> Up against the trans over here, trying to bend it out. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down for this one, boys and girls. Oh, there she is. Fuck yeah. Fucking hell, cunt. The baby's been born. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh, it's androgynous. <laughs> so, there's the one down pipe. Just gotta disconnect the O2. And then the other side. And then, uh, see how the new parts don't fit. <laughs> so, one stud off the turbo broke on the passenger side, the bottom one. We got a Suburban coming here. And, uh, of course, the rest of them came right off, no problem. Then on the driver's side, bottom stud broke as well. Um, top one came off real easy. We're hoping we're home free. And uh, the far 
left side one was just not having it. I can feel it. It's going to break. And one broken stud out of four isn't the end of the world, but two right next to each other, that's going to be a nasty, it's going to sound like crap. Yeah. Leak. So we're going to Walmart to get a little torch thing to just see if we can uh, heat it up enough to get the nut to spin or even just spin the stud out at this point. Yeah. Something to not break another one. But we have it so close and it's going to slap back together real easy. So yeah, fun 2.7 twin turbo Audi stuff. Yeah, don't ever buy one. Yeah, don't buy one. I tell everyone, don't ever buy one. I, will, I told Trisha I would never own one, ever. Because I've worked on plenty, but I couldn't pass this car up. But yeah, it's a it's a nightmare. Well, if you if we do break the other one, I don't know. You're just gonna have to get upgraded turbos eventually, huh? <laughs> KO4s, baby. KO4s to the rescue. That's right. So we're headed to Wally World. You know you're in Idaho when you see the Potato Museum sign. <laughs> I live three blocks from it. Three blocks from the Potato Museum with the world's largest largest potato chip, right? Large, world's largest potato chip and world's largest baked potato. <laughs> well, we got some gas and we're gonna try to get this nut off. Hey, I've, I've bent metal with propane. So I have faith. Fucking wind's blowing. One loose, one to go. Another round and one more show. All right, one success. We're on to the next one. And hopefully we'll be good. Well, we got two broken ones. There was no amount of heat. We were literally about to catch the fucking firewall on fire. So we tried it. It started turning and then it let go. Yeah, well, we got two out of four. So two out of four on one side, three out of four on the other. But look at this nice shiny new exhaust, huh? That's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next shot you'll see is probably this thing running with straight pipes. Goddamn Chinese. Can't design an exhaust or a decent bio weapon. Whew. Making flanges not flat, but at least not crooked. <laughs> All right, so these pipes are wrong and they don't fit the rest of the exhaust, so it's just gonna have down pipes for now. And there is a leak. There's going to be a leak on this side. It is what it is. He's going to get studs and replace the studs on the turbos. But here we go. Let's give her give her a start up. See how she sounds. With some further bing bongification, we got the pipes to connect to the rest of the exhaust, um, albeit not very well. They're just slid on because they're the wrong size here and we don't have any other clamps to adapt it. Super bing bong and there's still a leak at the front turbo, but uh, at least it won't be literally straight piped waking up his neighbors at 3 a.m. So we're going to go for a test drive. Call it a night for now. Yeah.
Look at my magical sa Oh wow, you can you did yours pretty good. There's my sand castle. And there is the pretty much the best turtle I've ever seen. Good job. Alex just hanging out, playing with the little ones, hanging out with the Trisha. What's up, baby? I didn't know if the camera was pointing at you. And the fussy one, the fussy Addy, the Addy Patty, Addy Patty. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's adorable. Holy shit, they only just sitting together, drinking the water. It's adorable. Live tuning. Well, not really because we're stopped at a light. Why did that alligator cross the road? I don't know why. To get away from the scary fish. Oh no, scary fish. Yeah. Or was it to eat a watermelon? It was meant to eat a watermelon, but I was chasing a alligator. Oh, you dropped your taco. Dang alligators. They're crazy. Like you. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> well, we got back from the lake. Had some lunch at a sit-down restaurant. And decided to turn up the boost on the old five-cylinder here. Why not? Why not? Audi didn't want people to know this was a race car, so they put a block-off plate on the adjustment screw. Alright, we got a 20 valve spring with a 20 valve cap because the one on mine is adjusted from the bottom, which means if we have to change it, you have to take the cap off every single time. But now, Manslayer graciously gave me a 20 valve cap that you can just stick a wrench on there and turn it and adjust the wastegate. So we're going to go for a test drive and see how much boost we make. If we make over 14, we're going to get fuel cut by the ECU. So. Max boost is probably going to be like 12, 13, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And it'll just make like an extra 20 horsepower. But then the sticker on the back will be true. All right. So we gave it a gave it a little boot full just kind of getting onto the main road and it looks like it was about 7 or 8 pounds. So we got to adjust it up. So we're going to do that. And we will see what happens with that. Which way do you turn it? Clockwise. All right. Well, See if we have a change at all here. Probably not. That's more than it did before. Oh, feels a little quicker. Let's pull it over and give it a crank or two. Yeah. All right. Let's give her a round two. The ECU is being a bitch. So we made it back and basically no change the max boost but with the added preload on the spring uh boost comes on faster and it feels very healthy uh it i think it feels appropriate i mean i think it would keep up with the all road for sure well, i don't know about that yeah but it's lighter it's lighter 
by almost a thousand pounds. Well, by like seven hundred pounds. Yeah. Plus, we had me and you and the tools. There's nothing in my back. Or you mean in that thing? Yeah, in that thing. Right. Well, anyway, blah blah blah. Good night. Blah, See you tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. We're yeah, going yeah. Uh, on a truck drive. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>